probably. <laughs> so we just ordered our Hawaiian food, which I'm upset because we have so much food here that I would much rather be eating than outside food. But I forgot to take anything out to thaw, so. It's yeah. not your fault. It is my fault. It is my fault. Mr. Green, is there any advice you would give to people who may want to pursue intermittent fasting? Uh, just grind it out. The first 24 hours are tough, but once you get through that first night, you'll be all right. The, and how did you feel about fasting? Uh, well, I didn't think it was possible because I, I eat a lot, like a lot. And the idea of going a whole 24 hours without food is, uh, uh, I didn't think, I didn't he, well, think it was well, it, I'm doing alternate day fasting, which is 36 hours, but you would normally do 20 to 24 hours. Yeah, you I did mean, 36 hours I a few times. I had to work my way up to it. I mean, yeah. I think when your body's used to eating a certain way after, you know, 25 years or however long you're around, then, um your body's gonna go into shock and like, what are you doing, what are you doing? But after you get through those first, I would say like the first few days, first week or so, your body will adjust, so you just gotta stick it out. Grind it out. Yeah. Well, you guys heard it from a male perspective. Um, Evan actually loves intermittent fasting. I really do, actually. It's, it's actually pretty good. He is definitely, um, a fan of intermittent fasting. He didn't think he could do it at first, but I mean, he got through it. Like he said, those first, if you're gonna do alternate day fasting, those the first day of fasting is definitely difficult. Uh, you wanna stay hydrated. The key is to stay hydrated. Stay hydrated throughout the day and the hunger pains should pass. And then you, reach the C4 feeling. Yeah. You're so pretty. Okay, you guys, it's been 45 hours and 20 minutes. I am about to end my fast. Uh, me and Bay went and got Ono's Hawaiian barbecue in a Peru. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I'm aware it's Perrier. I was just trying to be funny just so people don't come from me. I usually get the barbecue plate and it has some rice and some macaroni and salad, a little bit of veggies underneath. This usually fills me up. Like I eat all this, I'm good to go. So I don't know if I'm gonna eat anything after this particular meal. So I'll holla at you guys in the morning. Holla. Hey guys, so it's Friday, so that means it's day two of intermittent fasting, more specifically alternate day fasting. Um, so I stopped fasting last night, I mean, I stopped eating last night at 11 o'clock. Um, it's like a little after 9.30 in the morning today on Friday. Um, so I've been fasting about 10 and a half hours so far, which is nothing really. You don't really start seeing um, the benefits of fasting until you hit around the 12 hour mark. So, I have my two bottles of water. And my good old cup of joe. Coffee, black, black coffee, whether it's iced coffee, it doesn't matter. Whether it's hot coffee, it doesn't matter. It needs to be Black. There needs to be nothing added to your coffee. No sugar, no artificial sugar, no creamer, no sweeteners, no none of that. Anything that's going to spike your insulin levels, you do not want to pertain in while you're fasting. It will break your fast, okay? 
I do my coffee in the morning to get myself like energized and going um, and also to be very highly regular. I like going through my day feeling light and free and not bogged down by anything uh, without going into too much detail. I hope you all get the point. So you guys, it's five o'clock. Um, I've been fasting for about 18 hours so far and I'm going to make me another coffee. I usually drink my coffee around this time or my second helping of coffee around this time. So it just kind of gets me through the hump. Please excuse my appearance. I did not put on any makeup today. <laughs> Ah, good old cup of brew. So, today's Saturday, December, what is it? December 7th? Yes. Saturday, December 7th, and this is day three of this vlog. Um, I have been officially fasting for 37 hours and 16 minutes, just about. Um, so yeah, I've been fasting since Thursday at 11 p.m. Um, I'm just got, just made my coffee, my first coffee for today. So this is kind of like my go-to lower carb um, breakfast. A heaping, heaping size New York strip steak. Um, because I need, my focus is always protein and fat, not really carbs. So I did put a, a multi-grain, 100 calorie Thomas English muffin in there. Um, just to give me a little bit of carbs so I have enough energy to carry me over into tomorrow uh, or carry me over tomorrow into Monday while I'm fasting um, but like I said I'm going to slowly take carbs out of the equation just so I've reached my goals quicker got scrambled eggs and then some sauteed spinach so I'm going to go ahead and end this fast 40 and a half hours. Wow. Ending my fast. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey guys. So today is day five. Woo! -hoo. It's day five. Day five. I've been fasting now for 40 hours. I just hit the 40 hour mark. Um, so let me show you guys what I'm about to indulge in. It is 7.15 on Monday. Okay. So I went ahead and got me a, a carnitas bowl with, so I kept it, I kept it very low carb for the bowl. Um, it's almost, a, it's almost a keto bowl, but I did get fajitas. I got no rice, no beans. Just carnitas, fajitas, lettuce, of course, sour cream, cheese, guac, and hot, hot salsa. So it's kind of like their keto bowl. And um, I have a little bit of chips on the side and a quesadilla. <laughs> quesadilla. It's like that. And we're going to have some chips on the side and a quesadilla and some Perrier. Perrier is our weakness. So we're about to get it in because I'm so hungry, y'all. I've been fasting for almost 44 hours. So I am about to break my fast. Let me show you guys what I'm eating. So we went to that Mediterranean spot. I got me some shish kebabs. So did he. And we got a little side salad here. 
so some light I'm probably gonna eat again because it's my first meal and this is on the lighter end not on the heavier end so I'll probably have to eat again so I can go into tomorrow fed that's also the trick too is making sure you are fed properly when it's time to eat mm -hmm. it's just cold brew right you got cold brew concentrate you're supposed to mix it in with some water but we like to just take it straight we like to take it to the head yeah yeah, yeah. right we just like the good, you know, we put in the shot glass after a good meal and whew. I'm wired y'all <laughs> You okay? Yeah, I got goosebumps. You got the goosebumps <laughs> That don't stay giving me goosebumps It's a damn shame. We have a problem when I don't feel like cooking, but I have to cook if That makes sense like I'm not trying to eat out like multiple times a day. I know we ate out earlier, but um, if I'm not trying to be up in the kitchen, chefing it up, this is uh, mashed cauliflower. I love cauliflower. Are only six grams of carbs, and I just try to stay away from, away from carbs altogether. And it's only about 90 calories for a half a cup. So um, I love to get that, and then some good old um, Green beans, frozen green beans, pop these suckers in the microwave, add some a little bit of butter and some seasoning salt or salt, they're good to go. So my second meal that I prepared is green beans, cauliflower, mashed potatoes with bacon and cheddar, and a slice or a half of a chicken breast. And of course, marinated and seasoned. This is what you don't do on intermittent fasting. Do mm -hmm. not do this, okay? Just do it. It's good for you. Don't do this. It's not what you want to do when you intermittent fast. Just a disclaimer. You guys, it's been it's been four days since I ate that pizza and I haven't pooped. This might be a TMI, but I haven't pooped in four days and I'm not I'm not feeling too good. Don't like that. Um Yeah, that was that was definitely a bad decision. Definitely a bad decision. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you all a recap of this what I eat while alternate day fasting vlog. So my goal here was to provide a realistic view on what I eat while alternate day fasting. Sometimes I eat good and sometimes I eat bad. But I wanted to definitely show you guys that when you eat bad it does lead to consequences as you guys can see with the dominoes i try to keep my carb intake to a minimum i am not keto i don't count how many carbs that i intake um but if it's not totally necessary i will not incorporate carbs into my meal um as you can see with my um as you can see, when I ate Chipotle, I did not get a burrito and I didn't get any rice or beans. So I kind of just avoided the carbs altogether. I find that when I eat more protein and fats, I stay fuller longer um, as opposed to just incorporating a lot of carbs into my diet. You want to kind of ease yourself into this process. Don't just drop everything bad. It's, it's going to be harder to proceed with fasting if you're being super restrictive if you're fasting and then you cut out all sugar and then you cut out all carbs and then you cut out you know all these different things dairy like whatever restrictions just try to take it one step at a time because the more restrictive you are the less likely you are to proceed with this lifestyle because 
Um, intermittent fasting is a lifestyle, it is not a diet. So um, you need to ease into it if you want to be successful. I have been intermittent fasting for a while now and now my body has adjusted um, so that I can do these very long fasts. I really don't have the feeling of cheating when I'm fasting. As far as beverages, I'm very simple with the beverages. I, for the most part, only consume water, coffee, black, and Perrier. Um, and then I will drink alcohol. Occasionally I try to keep my alcohol consumption to one day a week because it does affect your ketosis. So also keep that in mind. And although I ate all these different foods, as you guys could see, I did not restrict myself. I pretty much ate what I normally eat. <laughs> I mean, I don't really eat sweets. Like if I have a sweet, I might have like something small, like a cookie or a Rice Krispie. Like I don't really indulge in desserts. We don't keep desserts in our house. If I eat a sweet, I can pretty much eat just one and then keep it moving. I ate pretty regular and I was still able to lose about four pounds. So if you guys haven't checked out my two week update, please do. Uh, I will link it somewhere here above. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, hit that bell, drop a comment, hit the like button. I will be posting my one month update and any more updates um in january so make sure you guys stay tuned thank you guys so much for tuning in see you later